A leader has to take the risks. Hey, Jacob, what's up, man? How are you? Well, I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Unbelievable. Can't can't see your Very screen. Good to you. All uh, right, hang on. Hang on a second. Okay. Let me just get that fixed. Let's put it over to. Thing is, because I have a few different screens going on here, so I just need to set it up in the right way. Okay. So let's. Hey, see. just um, uh, t tell me how you how you pronounce your company name. I just want to make sure I got it right. <coughs> Statira Trading. Set Statira. Okay. Statira. Yes, All exactly. Right. That's fine. Perfect. 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 How are you doing? It's been a while since we. I know we, we, spoke we connected. Directly. It's yeah. been a little, a little while, man. No, I'm excited to, yeah, to have exactly. you on. Great stuff. All right, let me see if I'm if I can get the same nice background as as you has, or just <laughs> something else, maybe. It's okay, let man. See. It's all it's all fine. That's uh that's authentic, man. Hi. You're I authentic. Gotta find something nice here. Yeah, man. It's all right. I'll find. Then I'm a little bit, a little bit closer to you, right? The golden little, bridge, isn't that near? Bit, a little bit closer, man. <laughs> yeah, or maybe this is better. What do you prefer? <laughs> uh, you know uh, what? The it, golden, it, uh, golden, golden I, I think the space one, probably. Let me see the space one. I think the space one is is the one, man, because you're you're, you know, you're 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 at, from outer space, man, building building these incredible <laughs> computer systems and. Yeah. algorithms yeah. and uh yeah that that's that's much much better man so i love it i love it wow Good. so how's that we'll, so we'll how's everything so so how are you where so now exactly where are you from where, where are you living right now in copenhagen the capital of denmark yeah so okay that's where i'm 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 living currently uh okay. for going on a small trip this uh winter uh, autumn time uh, but but currently in, in Denmark, you know, it's summertime here now. It's lovely. Um, weather's good. It's pretty warm for our, our climate. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying, jo enjoying it here now. So, uh, so it's good. What about you? Are you back home or out traveling now? No, I'm, I'm actually back in Newport Beach right now. So I am back home. Got back into the groove. Got in my rhythm. Get my, my, my routine going. Feels good. Feels good. I mean, I love traveling. I've travel all the time but i love getting back home and getting into that routine yeah. it's uh it's 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 pretty awesome so tell me man what 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 got you interested in trading like how, how did this all happen for you where did it begin for you uh in your in your journey man so it, it's a fun story right because it actually all started when i was quite young uh, more than 20 years ago when I, I was 14 years old, actually, and uh, I got uh, a gift from my parents. And this gift was uh, uh, a stock in, in the local bank. And uh, it was kind of like uh, a present for them to, to show me, you know, there's also something going on outside, you know, in the world. And, you know, here you can start to get maybe a little bit interested in the local economy or whatnot, right? And I got this stock uh, certificate and I thought, okay, this is quite fun. And I started to follow, you know, the bank and the local newspaper and started to get interested in what is stocks and what do they do and so on. I was quite keen on, you know, reading the newspaper every day <laughs> to see the numbers. And then from there, you know, over the years, well, f first of all, you got to have the, the, the end of that story because that's, you know, the bank ended up going bankrupt and I lost all my money. <laughs> but eventually, you know, I, I, I stayed at it and uh, I I was disciplined enough to, to to stay in the game. And then I just kept, you know, getting more and more into to to investing. So so that's how it all started. And, and it my passion has just grown ever so much more ever since. So, yeah. Do you, do you remember the first companies you traded? What, what were the first uh, you know, what, what was your first big risk that you took in trading? Um, first big risk was probably when I, well, well, it, at the time it felt like a big risk, right? Uh, currently today it's, it, it's, it, it's, it's nothing. But at the time where, uh, where you are in your life and in your stage where, when you're trading and investing, whatnot, it feels big because you don't have that experience yet. But it was actually when I got a little bit, Older after you know 14 years old, you can't really trade stocks yourself, right? 
but a little bit when I got a little bit older and you know I've saved a lot of money myself from my 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 part-time job you know doing these uh, working in a supermarket after school and you know before school sometimes you know and I've had a quite big of you know amount say a money amount saved up you know and then I started to invest this money into the stock market myself and at this time it felt like a big, big risk right because you know I I didn't have the mindset I didn't have you know the skills and so on but I was I was very keen on it and I was very passionate uh, but at the end of the day I could lose all my money if I you know did something wrong so at that time that was my biggest risk uh yeah and and then and then when you think about it growing up with this passion for trading and what were the challenges that you faced uh the challenges are big in this game very very big um one thing is to learn a strategy whether you're investing or you're trading but another thing is the whole mindset game of trading and investing because we as human species are not made for we we are simply not on this earth made for trading and investing our brains are just not wired for it all the way from from our very early roots so the biggest challenge for me and probably for many other investors uh, and traders as well is the mindset game and how to actually deal with the challenges the, the the mental challenges that comes with every day you can go if you're actively trading if you trade every day you can go into the market every day and you can go home after 8 10 12 16 hours and you have lost money right if if, if you go to a regular job nine to five right you go there and you are pretty sure that after that day you have made up some kind of money right because at the end of the month after 14 days whatnot you'll get a, a a payslip right but here in trading you can go to work trade all day and you can go home and have lost money you know and and just and just th that's one thing losing money but just doing that regularly right that's that's really really hard for for the mind uh and if you if if you can't if, if you can't get comfortable being un uncomfortable in trading then it will be very hard for you to succeed over over the long term so that's just one of the challenges that the, the mental mindset and then another challenge is you know when you come into trading I, I i i'm not sure why that is but a lot of people have this um mentality that trading is easy you know and, and i can go into it and within maybe you know i go in maybe six months and then i'm rich you know then i've made you know i put 100k in and i have 1 million after six months you know that's it but really trading is one of the hardest games that there is out there one of the very hardest games you can ever play if, if you go into it so so many people who go into it including myself i did the same you know in a few years yeah i'll be good you know but it just takes so much dedicated work to to first become consistent and then after that become profitable right it's like any other strategy where you'll become a top five in anything if you want to become a top five doctor right you don't just go to 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 doctor school or, or read medicine for for two months and then you think you can go out and make a big operation right in some kind of brain surgery no you need right. to go to doctor school right. for seven seven six years right and then you need a lot of practice and then after 10 years you could yeah you can maybe do it if you want to be the best uh, nba player if you want to be the best american football player you got to put in 10 20 years of hard dedicated work every day and then then you might be decent so so what it, what so is that some of, some of what, what what's that work that you're talking about when you when you say work because you decided to become a professional trader uh, of course we're going to get into talking about your company and uh Statera tra trading and we're going to talk about Jacob how um, you know, you've created these, these systems, these automated systems to make trading much more doable, much more easy for the average person. And, and by the way, just a disclaimer here, because I am securities license, I have an investment license in the United States. Uh, I am not, um, you know, recommending any of these trading strategies. I am not, uh, you know, uh, you know, Jacob's views are not necessarily my views. And so I just want to make sure everybody knows this is for educational purposes only. And let's be very clear about that. But 
when you think about work for you, what comes to your mind? So there's two parts of it um, as a trader and an investor. When you begin in this industry, first of all, you got to learn all the like like if you are if you're playing football or baseball or whatnot, you, you got to learn the, the, the standard drills, you know, how to pass a ball, how to catch a ball, you know, how to throw a ball, you know, all of that. And, and in trading and investing, if you do it actively, or even if you do it passively, it doesn't really matter. You got to learn the, the strategies for trading and investing, you know, how to get in, how to get out. Do you want to do it long, like investing long term? Do you want to do it short term? You know, all these technical things, how, how to go about all this, right? This is the very, first work you need to put in and there's so many things to test here that many people think yeah i'll just find one strategy and then that's it right i'm set but but there's thousands of different strategies out there and thousands of different ways to do it just like you have a whole playbook for you know playing football you know there's so many plays you, you can do and on so many days and you know on so many different you know ways to do it right so so there's so many things to to test out and and, and try second of all when, when you have got this kind of you've got a base layer of education so to speak then you start to realize that wow okay i got the basis right right but then you start okay and after that you start to go maybe on a demo account or even a small live account but then you start to figure out there's a whole nother game here that i haven't focused on and that's up here between your your ears right and then we start on a whole nother level which is possibly even more difficult and then you've got to start to work on your your brain uh your mental mindset um because if you don't got that wrong you can't use anything what you have learned of of the technical side so then you got to start to to work on on your mindset in order to actually become consistent and then eventually hopefully profitable as well so is it is so basically what you're saying is the work well i mean it sounds like the work is really the mindset but uh but really the work is is it studying charts is it understanding the algorithms is it understanding the demand zones and supply zones and the you know whatever i mean is is that what what a trader is doing all day are they is this really the work part um so there's two ways to it right well in, in the, the beginning stages yes you're absolutely right from a, from a technical point of view from the trading point of view yes you gotta you know, when you look into strategies, got to find out, uh, looking at ch charts, you know, what, what are support levels, what are demand levels, what are resistance, you know, all these kind of stuff. What is this indicator? What is that indicator? What is what is price action? And, you know, what is what is patterns and all this? You can study patterns. You can study candlesticks. You can study everything technically. Then there's the, the mental part we just spoke about, where you got to work on your own mental side of things. But actually... <laughs> The fun thing is when you then have reached some kind of consistency and you th you consider yourself to, okay, now I've reached maybe within a few years or something like that. You're not you're, you're not the beginning stage anymore. You're not the top, top level anymore, but, but you're still trading decent and you're making some profits. Then actually the work you put in a lot of the time as a trader and investor is just patience. So you can just sit there and wait and wait and wait and not do anything. So what you're actually working on here is actually not getting more knowledge, but actually being more disciplined, be more patient to follow your plan that you have tested out for the last three, four, five, six, seven years to follow that plan, be disciplined to wait, be patient, be patient, be patient. And then eventually when an opportunity comes, then you strikes. So in that case, when you have become more professional, then it's actually more your discipline that you're working on mm -hmm. and continuously working on your mindset. So did you have like a mentor uh, early on or any books that you read that were pretty powerful for you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, from the very beginning, I was in uh, trading communities. So that's, you know, communities for, for like-minded people who, who, who did the same as, as I did when I started actively trading, not when I was 14 years old, right? right? But, but when I got older and got into trading a bit more. So at some point you know when i first got into trading actually was was uh, at a party i, I, I met a, a guy who is still my friend to this day and i was only at this point i was only uh, investing long-term investment but then i met this guy who was trading 
and then you know we started speaking and i said you know i'm an investor and he was a trader and then he got my eyes open into to the whole trading world right and then i became you know more i got more and more into it uh i became this trader and then you know from there my, my, my passion just started and um yeah um since then I, you know just haven't looked back since and got, got and what, a lot what of, type of, of advice of like what what type of advice you know specifically what sort of things did they teach you you know that, that you really took away from some of these uh you know really successful investors early on because because i know for me yeah. you know my mentor uh you know he taught me the power of discipline he taught me the power of uh, building great relationships. He taught me the power of focusing on getting results and, you know, having kind of a results mindset. So I, I learned some powerful things from my trainers and my mentors. Yeah. What what are some of your key takeaways that you got from some of these people early on? Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, I, I would say there was two kinds of mentors that, that I had. The, the, the one thing was in the trading communities where there was people who were a lot, a lot further than I was uh, on the journey to becoming a consistent and, and profitable trader. So what I learned from 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 these guys was definitely um, that this is a long term game. Mm -hmm. That was one thing, right? You, you mm -hmm. cannot just go in, expect two months, and then you're good. It's a long term game, and it's a lot right. more to do with your mindset than what it is to do with your technical skills. Because I can teach you. My, as my mentor said, I can teach you the technical skills within one month or two months, but you'll not become profitable within one or two months. It might take you five years, it might take six years. And so it was really about the long term game. Then the second part of it is I've had quote unquote mentors from books. I'm an avid reader and I love to read books uh, on all kinds of topics, but I've read a lot about, uh, of course, trading, investing, but especially also about the mindset that goes into mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. in this case, I would say my, my, my mentors, again, have have taught me so many lessons from from reading from from these people who've called it they they've made it right, and and, and which mindset you gotta have in order to to actually achieve success in this game. And it again, it comes back to I'm I'm repeating myself a little bit, but again, it comes back to that our mindsets are not made for being traders, right? Our mindsets right. is is made to survive. Mm -hmm. And if you want to survive in this game, it's about you got to have a long term perspective and you got to right. expect to be in this, right. uh, that it will take years before you actually become con consistent and profitable. And if you have this mindset from the beginning, that actually it's not about focusing on the outcome each day, but it's about building a solid process that you are keeping discipline to and then following that process and if you have followed that process at the end of the day, at the end of the month, at the end of the year, then you have, then you, then you are the winner. Doesn't matter if the results are plus hundred or plus one thousand or plus one million. If you have followed right. the process, th then the results will follow afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I, I completely agree. You know, when I look at uh, everything that I was able to build in my business, everything was about process. I mean, from an early age. Uh, I was maybe 24 when I opened up my first office, but the first thing I did was I built a process. So I made sure I had manuals, I had books, I had tapes, I had uh, DVDs, I had everything, you know, what, you know, started a website and I had everything that I could possibly, you know, have so I can duplicate a process. And I think that when I think of, and, and this is, I think what you're saying is you got to have a process, you got to build something so that way it can ultimately be duplicated. And I think this is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this might be a, a reason why you decided to start your company uh, because you figured out that some of these patterns were very predictable. And because they were predictable, you said, well, wait a minute, maybe I can just duplicate this again and again and again and again. And maybe we could get very similar results again and again and again and again let's try it so where did that begin when you said all right i'm going automated man i'm going to build an automated uh trading process and system so i can not only become profitable for myself with doing less work maybe you know because there's less i mean obviously if things are automated there's less looking at charts there's less 
you know, having to, to, you know, it becomes more passive versus, you know, in the game every single minute, like a lot of traders are. Uh, tell me a little bit about how that all began and, and how'd you start, uh, you know, that process of building your own first company. Uh, as as many good things uh, start this way, it is also start the same way for, for me. Like I made all the mistakes I could with, with manual trading, right? I was uh, over trading, I was uh, risking too much, and you know, in the beginning, I, I I made all the mistakes, right? At the same time, uh, because I was so passionate about it, I was so dedicated. I also spent a lot of time in front of the screens every day, right? Every single day so much time that sometimes i felt exhausted right uh, obviously um even though that i got my sleep ate well you know did exercise i spent so much time that i sometimes felt exhausted so some at some point you know me and a good friend of mine we you know we started digging into you know is isn't there some way that this can be done better right right and you know actually actually before i started manual trading i have already got familiar with automated trading systems you know i saw something on youtube and i thought it was, this was good and i invested it in you know so i've already had some kind of you know knowledge about it but didn't pursue it any further at that time because then i went to manual trading and thought that was right. the the thing right. to do right but then my um my uh, my friend and, and and myself started to dig more into automated trading and found out wow if we can actually create something where we can trade that quote unquote trade right because the system does it for us in the background but if you can create something where we at the same time can have time for our families can have time for our friends time for our girlfriends time to go to ho on holidays and at the same time something something in the background will trade for us wouldn't that be amazing and that's when we, we figured out wow it, it, and we, first of all we thought it was kind of sounded like silly and impossible right we right. but then we started to dig more into it and then we started, you know, okay, getting more and more knowledge, you know, educate ourselves. We got into some other places with other people, you know, who had some knowledge about this, some really, really cool guys. They taught us something. And then from there, it just all of a sudden our, our knowledge exploded. We started to trade automated systems. We started to build them ourselves. And then all of a sudden, we, we, we figured out that we have actually found a solution to our problems. Um, I, I, I think it's a situation a lot of people have been in. Also, your audience, you know, they are entrepreneurs, they are business people, they are busy people. They want right. to be with family at the same time. So they want to go on holiday. Absolutely. But, so they don't have time. They have, don't have time to trading. They don't have time to sit there many hours per day. They just want to live their life and, you know, have the good life, right? So that's what we created for ourselves. And, uh, and and then all of a sudden, long story short is that we created something really, really good. We traded it live on our own accounts. It went really well. We, you know, did a lot of testing. It was stable. And some people, you know, with a lot of knowledge in the industry said to us, guys, you have something going on there. You probably should consider creating a company out of this, right? And then we thought, oh, well, if other people can actually benefit in the same way as us, you know, getting more time back, in their lives, getting more time back for the families, for friends, for holidays, for relaxing, then why why shouldn't other people also get that opportunity, right? And then that's what we, how and 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 when we set up the company and said, okay, we want to offer this to 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 other people as well, so they can can get that same benefit as as we experienced. And so, walk me through some of the numbers. Walk me through some of your you know, your, your testing and, and, you know, because I know this is, you know, you guys have been testing for years and years and years. You guys have just gobs of data that you've been testing for so many years. Tell me about yeah. uh, why, why would somebody trust? Like, so for example, if, if somebody were to, you know, and, and like I said before, I'm not recommending that anybody does this, but if somebody were to do it, why would they trust you and why would they trust your company to do something like this? And, and you know, what type of hard data, what type of proof, what type of background testing do you, uh, do you guys have? Yeah, it's a good question and very, very fair uh, question. And of course, as you say, um, it's uh, it's trading it is investing it, it involves risk so of course we, we got to say that but um 
to answer your question directly, we have done, we have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of, of backtesting. And for people who might not be familiar with that, or it means that you, you, you have a strategy and then you, when you backtest that strategy, it means that you go back to the charts and you look at this strategy back in time and see how it performed over, over years, right? Uh, in this case, we have, we have developed over the years, like we have found some strategies that work manually. Then we took these manual trading strategies and we put them into our automated trading systems and saw if they work, right? First of all, um, we have taken probably for every, for every um, automated strategy that we have, we ha that, that is profitable, we have tested about 90 to 100 strategies before we found that one that worked. Then we took that one strategy and we have back tested that between 10 and 15 to 20 years back in time on the best possible data you can get on a chart. So that means the most mm -hmm. detailed specific mm -hmm. data you can get. So everything is included. Um, it's, it's like top professional data and we back tested mm -hmm. these um, strategies. Uh, so in, in all kind of, you know, kind of like we tested them in, in so many different ways that to, to kind of like the word is to stress test them, right? So in all kind of scenarios and all kind of market environments, if this happens, then that happens. And, and, you know, in hundreds and hundreds of different ways to make sure that they are solid and to make sure that they are not curve fitted in any way. Um, and then after that, when we have done all the back testing, we have seen that they are actually profitable over years and in different market environments. After that, we have put our strategies in the live environment as well with our own funds. So we actually have our, our self, you know, it, it's just, it's not, it's not just something that we sell to other people or, or offer to other people. It's something that we actually have, are involved in ourselves with our own funds. Uh, not, not, not just small, you know, $100, you know, we, we have significant capital within this. So we put our own risk in. So that also shows that, you know, it, it's something that we trust ourselves. And at the end of the day, of course, um, we want to, you know, be, you know, open and transparent. And uh, I also think a good way that people can trust us is that they can go to our website. Nothing is hidden. You know, they can contact us on socials. They can contact us on website. They can even, you know, they will get a reply. We are not, we're not hiding behind something. We are not some weirdos, you know, it's, it's like, it's and th in this industry. Yeah, we, we might smile at it, but in this industry, you know, you see many, many companies where they hide behind something they don't show faces they don't show anything right we, we are as transparent and as as open as we can be and we hope we really hope that this will will make people feel that we actually people they can speak with if they are interested and and that will also um, portray some kind of trust and 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 that we are open and honest people and and we just want the best for them actually can, can you yeah. can you can you maybe walk me through some scenarios or like for example uh, you know, what are you trading? I, I think it's your, your, well, tell me what you're trading and, and maybe give us an idea of, of maybe some, uh, some returns that you've back tested or even returns that you have experienced yourself. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So right now, currently, um, we, so we, we have several, uh, automated trading strategies we trade ourselves, but currently we, we offer one strategy uh for the public um uh, and within this strategy <clears throat> there is six instruments that we trade on this uh this strategy and we have uh three currency pairs so a currency pairs for the audience who, who are not familiar with it is uh when you trade two currencies up against each other right so that might be the in our case it is us dollars again against the yen right or it's the the, the pound against uh, against the dollar, right? That that's a currency pair. And we have three currency pairs, and then we have DAX, which is a German index, and then we have gold. We trade gold against US dollar, and then for the last one we have um, gold uh, DAX and uh, oh, just uh, gold and, and oil, oil. Sorry. So okay. and then we have oil as well. So we trade those three instruments okay. and then three pairs. Right. Okay. For especially for a little caveat here, for our U.S. clients, um, they are unless they're institutional investors, uh, then a lot of uh, U.S. Uh, people over there with you, 
can't trade oil and they can't trade DAX, right? But in that okay. case, we have made a specific portfolio for our US clients where where they don't trade these, but but they are still getting a good return from from the other four instruments that they still trade, right? So that's okay. for the US clients. But for everybody else, they can tra trade the full full uh, portfolio. Um, in terms of uh, then your next question was in in terms of returns. Then we have seen. It has to be said the returns I'm speaking about right now is based on every single trade that we take. We we have a high um, high threshold for risk management, meaning that it's 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 crucial for us, right? So we have a very low risk strategy, which means that on every trade we put into the market, we only risk 0.3 percent uh, as a default uh, on our trades, right? Our clients can do whatever they want. Like they can set this up or set this down, but as a default, this is what we do, right? Um, and why why do you do that? Are, by why 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 do you do that? What what's the 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 thinking behind setting up your your risk tolerance so low? Yeah. Uh, it's a good question, and the the thinking behind it is if you're risking, let's say you're risking one percent per trade or two percent per trade or one and a half percent per trade, what what not, right? Our strategy is uh, one that trades quite often, so meaning that it takes quite a lot of trades. And if you, as a, as a, we are all human beings, right? And if you see a big, big draw, let, let's say you have invested uh, 100k or 50k or 1 million, you know, dollars, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It depends on where you are in in your journey, right? But when you see a big, big drawdown on your account. Try to imagine, reflect on how that will affect your psychology and, and how you will then stick as a non-professional trader. How, how will you then be able to stick to a strategy if you see a big, big drawdown, right? Not a lot of, I, I can tell you also from my own experience, I can tell you not a lot of people will then be able to stick to the strategy if they see a big drawdown. However, if we risk a lower amount, a percentage amount per trade, then our drawdowns will still be, or will not still, they will be much, much lower because we risk less per trade, right? But then people will say, then your your returns is also lower. Yes, correct. But we are in it for the long term. We are not in it to get rich quick tomorrow. We are in it to to, to good, win over good, the long good. term. Good. So 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 we are happy to risk lower and then wait a little bit longer. And with the strategy that we are offering for the public right now, we are still getting much better returns than what you would see if if you just you know trade some kind of mutual funds or whatnot right even though that we're risking really low um so so this is the the idea behind risking low because we know from ourselves that risking high just it, it, it's not a long-term play to do that so that's why we are risking low. we want to preserve our capital that's that's one of the, the main aims when you're in trading and in investing you want to preserve your capital and so tell me a little bit about the returns and, you know, what sort of numbers are you guys seeing uh, in, in your, in your back testing? Yeah. So um, you can look at it from a monthly perspective. You can look at it from a quality perspective or, or year on year perspective, but on our back testing on the, on the, the strategy we are offering right now. And of course I have to say, as you know, we, we just have to put the disclaimer out there, you know, um you know past results doesn't you know guarantee the same future results and everything but now i'm just telling you what we got uh, in the past uh, correct we have seen er everything between uh, the low figures of 30 percent per year up until now i'm just looking at it here up around as one of the highest years we had were about 80 percent and that's with risking uh, above 80 percent and that's risking only 0 0.3 per per trade uh, so that's that's quite a and just for for people out there who don't know if this is a lot or or, or a little, uh, I can put it into pers perspective and <laughs> you, it, yeah, but but you can put it into perspective if you put your money into a you know a index fund you know you're trading the S and P five hundred on average per year since the the beginning of the fund it's between you know depending on you know the fees and you know where you are in the in the world so but but between seven eight ten percent per year. That's that's the market return that that people expect to get if they put their money into the S and P 500, right, or an index fund that trades the S and P 500. So when you get six, 
uh, sorry, seven to to ten percent per year. If we have then banked between thirty and eighty percent per year over the last uh, thirteen years, that's that's um, it's significant. Honestly, it's very it's very it's, very it's, significant. It's significant, yeah. It's yeah, significant. it's it is it is very very significant. Now, the question though, the the other uh, you know thought behind this process is. How easy is this? You know, like what what do you got to do to set this up, and how much does it cost, and what are the what are the downfalls? You know, I mean, are there you know could we could we lose all our money? Could we, uh, you know, like tell give us a little bit about the the potential pitfalls? Because the truth is, if you put your money in a mutual fund, you know, in the last you know. 60, 80 years or whatever, you know that you're pretty much going to get a 10 to you know 12% rate of return year over year over year. And it is kind of just the, you know, it just is what it is. And compound interest compounds that money. You don't have to really do anything. You just give your money to the, you know, they take it out of your paycheck, put it in your 401k or put it in your IRA or whatever. There's no, there's not a lot of work. There's no, you know, thought in, you know, there's no process into what you have to do. You just do it. You send your money and, you know, you wake up 40 years later and you're at least a millionaire. I mean, if you're putting any type of decent money in there, you're at least a millionaire. So my question is, what's the downside here? What's the challenges? Is it hard to set up? Is it hard, you know, to kind of walk me through that process? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I can tell you from how, how easy is was it for for me and my business partner to reach this point where we actually had something profitable to to offer that i can promise you that was that was not easy <laughs> but 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 that's yes. a different story how e- how easy is it for, for 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 people to to get into this we have we wanted from the beginning to create something that was so easy so easy that it was almost like a, a no brainer for people to to sign up if if they just of course, if they have the trust in us and, you know, and if they, they wanted, were interested and so on, but so easy that it only takes a few clicks. And that's how we have done it today. Just as easy, if not easier than going down to the bank and starting up a, an account and saying you want to trade a mutual fund. Because the only thing that people have to do is like it, they go to our website, they sign up and it is all about their paying. It's It works. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a monthly subscription, so they sign up for a monthly subscription. The only thing they need to do is that they have to sign up with, with a with a broker, so a, a trading broker. Um, it can be anybody they trust, anybody they've used before or whatnot. And then they will have put money into their own trading account. And we have we as the trade trading have nothing to do with this. We, we don't have access to it. It's all their own, right? So the only thing they they, they then need to do is after they have at least our system is that they will connect their trading account to our Statura trading strategy. That's the only thing they have to do after that. And and of course we it's it's a really simple step by step how to do that. We will of course provide all the instructions uh, guided and you know video mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. But when mm-hmm. I've done that it takes three minutes. When I've done that they don't have to do anything more because our system does all the hard work and that's what we wanted from the beginning you as a client as an investor don't have to do anything at all our system does the entries the exits the the trade management everything you don't have to do anything i mean this this is this is just crazy jacob this is just crazy to fathom because i mean we are we are embarking in a whole nother world man i mean it's just to to even think that this is possible from a from a an investing perspective a trading perspective i mean but but i also do think uh, i i thought about this for you know a long long time you know there th- these big you know blackrock and these big trading firms i mean they've been doing this shit for years right i mean they've had automated things happening for them for years and years and years. Am I right? They just don't allow us to be involved in that process. Is that true or am I wrong or right? Or what do you know about that? No, it's, uh, it's, it's correct that you have these big, big, big companies who are also trying to automate things. But uh, the thing is we as I would, I would say retail investors or, or, or smaller, smaller guys in the market, right? We, we just tiny bit compared to these, big guys like BlackRock and whatnot, you know, 
Vanguard and so on. We, we, we have an, the advantage in the market that we can be agile, we can be flexible, right? We can put in smaller trades, you know, and smaller trades can be, you know, that's subjective based on who we are. But but we, no matter how rich you are as an individual person, you'll never get anywhere near guys like BlackRock or Vanguard or whatnot, right? So therefore, we can get in and out of the market much quicker, and we can turn, we can twist, we can do all these things that they cannot do because they have to be patient to wait for other people to take. Now it's getting a little bit technical, but but you know, take the other side of the trades and and whatnot, right? And they cannot just they are like this big, big, big ship ship on the, the ocean, right? That takes long time to turn around, right? Where we are this little speedboat, right? Exactly. And um, and this is the advantage that that we have, right? So the biggest the, the biggest challenge for us or for our clients is actually not so much the market itself. If they remember what we spoke about, you know, some minutes ago, they will know that the answer to this, the biggest challenge for them is their own mindset. So if they go in and think every day, I have to look at these trades every day and have to follow it up and down, up and down, you know, they will get into this whole emotional roller coaster that 90% of them are not ready for because they are not traders and investors, right? So the whole thing is to go into it with the same mindset as you do if you bought into a mutual fund or index fund with S&P 500. And as you said earlier, you know, in 40 years time, I'll wake up a millionaire with compound interest and so on. I don't say that they need to stay for, for 40 years, but you know what I mean, right? It has to be a long term mindset. So the biggest challenge for, for people is the mental part of things again. And uh, when you think about like, uh, you know, major setbacks in your process of because like you said, it's easy for the investor now to get into something like this and just have it automated for them. But on the on the flip side, you guys built this company and you guys had to, uh, you know, at some point met up with some resistance, some challenges, maybe just some uncertainty. Was there anything or did it just go up like a skyrocket and, you know, everything went perfect? <laughs> I, I wish it did, Daniel. I wish, <laughs> but I can tell you that there has been so many challenges, so many mistakes, so many money invested. I wouldn't right. say lost because, yeah, if we if you say it out directly, yeah, it's it's lost money. But I don't see it as lost money because it's something that we invested into learning, into development, into education. Right? If we haven't invested this money, that is gone by now. We couldn't have reached this stage where we actually become profitable and actually succeeded in creating something that works. But to be more specific, on the technical side of things with automation, there's so many things you, you gotta learn first. It's like you gotta really not just crack one code, but crack thousands of codes. Uh, try to imagine, and you're sitting in your your math lessons back in high school or whatnot. You have these algebra or whatnot, and one was maybe a chance for you. Then imagine that you have thousands on. 5,000 to, to you have to solve before you actually reach the, the final result, right? That was what it was to learn automated trading and then actually uh, do something that makes something that was actually profitable. Second of all, you have systems, you you know, your algos can, when you're in the development phase, you, you, you run into some kind of block that you don't know how to develop or how to, you know, to, how do we get around this? You know, how do we develop this? Well, if we want the strategy to do this, when this does that, how do we do that? Um, so there's so many challenges and, and then you put it into the live market, a, a strategy you, you thought worked, put it into the live market and then you see, oh man, it didn't work in the live market. Okay, back to the drawing board, right? And then the strategy doesn't work anyway. And then you got to test 50 other different strategies and they didn't work either. Well, then wow. you test 50, well, 50 wow. other, and then you find one that finally worked, right? And then you start all the way. Okay, now we back test this and then we forward test it in, you know, five, six, six, seven months again. And then, so you can see how it is going on and on and on before you actually find something that's that's solid and, and really robust. So it's just, it really yeah. is a trial and error. It's been, you know, for 13 years for you, it's been trial and error, trial and error, back testing, understanding algorithms, understanding how to build a website, understanding how to build a, a, a platform that's going to allow people access to all this. I mean, it's a lot of work, man, a lot of work that you put in. And, and I love I love that you talk about that because we do have a lot of entrepreneurs. We have a lot of people on here yeah. 
that they're trying to build a business. They're trying to build companies. They're trying to recruit and train and develop and teach and, you know, be consistent and be disciplined and, and, you know, make new friends and build new relationships and all the different things that we teach in our business. But I love talking to successful millionaire entrepreneurs like you because the story's the same. It's, it's the same story, man. It's like, well, whether you're in financial services, whether you're trying to build a financial services company or you're trying to become a, uh, you know, build a, a, a automated trading platform, it's the same thing. It's you got to work hard. You got to be disciplined. You got to try things over and over and over again. You got to meet with failure and, and, and you got to, you know, deal with, with uh, things that don't work and you got to start all over and you got to invest money. I mean, imagine how much money have you invested into putting this whole thing out of your pocket? How much have you invested through the years to put this whole thing together? Yeah, yeah man. I. You have I, any idea? I, I have, <laughs> yeah. I, to be honest with you, I, I don't have any idea, but I can but, tell you if. But I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Uh, I, I, I don't have the exact number, but I can, I can tell you it's, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. I have invested into it and I. And I can also tell you another thing. Well, it's 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 definitely not a small amount. It's a significant amount. I I can tell you one thing. I don't regret it any single second. Absolutely. Because every single every single penny I've spent into this, I have learned something from it. I have grown right. from it, become a better person from it, become a better trader, become a better investor. You know. And if you go into and now we go a little bit back to the mindset, right? I've also told you a little bit earlier about all the mistakes and so on, right? If you have the mindset, if you change your mindset from going to focusing on the outcome that I want to sell this company, or I want to have that car, or I want to, you know, uh, make a big exit or whatnot, right? And instead, you, you change the, the mindset to, and, and if you think that uh, I'm only winning if I can sell this company, I'm only winning if I get rich, or, but if you change your mindset to, I'm actually winning when I grow, I'm actually so, winning when I'm learning, love it, and love I'm it. actually winning when I when I can help other people. If Beautiful. you do that. Beautiful. Then you will win every single day because you're growing when you're quote unquote failing. You are winning when you're helping other people. You're winning when you're growing. And I can promise you one thing based on my experience, and I'm quite sure that you agree. At the end of that, at the end of that process, the results will follow that mindset, right? Always, 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 man. I mean, yeah. what a beautiful mindset. What you explained right now is progress equals happiness. That's why you're a happy dude. That's why you're, you know, pretty excited about the future and you're really trying to do good and trying to make a difference in the world. And that's, uh, that's pretty significant. That's, that's awesome. You know, so what, what does the future hold for automated trading? I mean, you know, especially with the AI, man, I mean, obviously AI is the big buzzword right now. Uh, you know, is this AI, is this AI or is it just a automated trading platform? Is, is there any sort of, I mean, and, and, wh and what is the next generation? Is this, is this going to take hold? You know, companies like you, are they going to start popping up all over the place? I mean, are we going to, is Vanguard or BlackRock going to come out with an automated trading platform for little guys like us in the future? I mean, where do you see the future of this technology? Where's it going, man? Give, give me your, 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 you know, your long range view on this. Yeah, so I, I definitely think that trading are going a lot more into to automation than what it have been earlier, right? Uh, just because it, it becomes a lot more accessible, uh, it will become easier for people to, to invest in. At the same time, the barriers to become profitable and successful is very, very high. Uh, it's uh, like in terms of not not for people who invest into the system, but for the development part of, of things, right? Uh, from our side, from the company side, and and from other company sides, it's it's like before you actually reach something that's really good, you know, that's that's a long long road, and and that's why I think that it will not just pop up everywhere because it's not that easy. Um, of course, it'll be more and more because you know as technology in uh, evolves and so on uh, it'll become not i won't say easier but it will become more accessible um but the, it's it's for sure that it will be a, a lot more 
uh, accessible for for people regular people like like you and me to to invest in so of course it'll it'll become much bigger but does and, it does uh, it uh, but 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 uh, jacob like is it but it, does it really make sense for a company like blackrock or a company like vanguard or some big investment firm that they actually take your money and they trade it for you right because now you're now you're taking out all the commissions man now now you got a a broker that's sitting there at charles schwab and he's like well he's out of a job i mean if 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 automation is trading for the small guys well and everybody does it well then there's really no need for a broker to go and take my money and to trade my money now granted there's always going to be big institutions with large sums of money because that's what fuels the market. It's what creates the activity in the market for things like this to actually function and work. So like a Vanguard or a, or a BlackRock, again, I, I'm, you know a lot of this stuff way better than I do, but like a company like that, do you ever see them coming out with automated systems? Because if they do, is it gonna, would, it, would it hurt the, the marketplace? Would it do something in the marketplace that could hurt their own businesses? This is kind of what I'm asking. I don't know if you did, are you already understanding what I'm what I'm asking here. Yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think they will ever do something that will hurt their own business. Right. Uh, and I also don't think that these big guys uh, will ever offer something that's oh, you can't know for sure, of course. But I don't think they will offer something to the small guy on the street like you and me, uh, because we simply don't got enough money you know we we don't got we don't got billions billions laying around just to invest in their systems right so so in that case they will probably keep to their own playground and we will keep to our playground right it's it's like these big big institutions really to to, to say it very frank fr frankly you know they really don't care about us because we cannot do anything to them so in, in that case we have our own playground to play in which is plenty for people like you and me um but for these big guys they, they, they don't really care about us so so they won't mess it up and just to go back to what you said about the brokers brokers still have a place in this food chain so to speak because for you and i to trade with our with just say with, with our automated system they still make a commission every time we take a trade right, right. so they right. are still in the industry that they're, they're they're happy that we are making automated systems because Every time I take a trade from you know our system, you know they make a you know handsome commission from that, right? So yeah. they just want us to trade more. And yeah. The good I, thing I'm, about I'm just... I, I actually have. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just I just have to say, by the way, just in terms of commissions, if there was some very um, smart people out there who was thinking, hmm, is their system actually also profitable after commissions and after spreads? If if people know what that is. I can just assure, yes, we have also, of course, included all of this in our testing. So that's also, the, that's that's part of our testing. Our systems are, are still profitable after spreads and after commissions and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just think it's uh, it's just a powerful, I mean, because I'm, I'm very intrigued by the whole AI world that we're living in. I mean, ChatGBT is revolutionary, revolutionizing the way that people learn. You know, where I can just go in and just say, give me the top 10 points of some book and summarize it for me and write an article for me, write me a script for YouTube, uh, give me questions uh, for a podcast. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, it is absolutely mind boggling what the computer can do right now. And so uh, I'm very, um, you know, I'm a believer, you know, not that I'm telling anybody to invest with you. Uh, and I want to make sure that I'm transparent. Uh, Jacob doesn't pay me any money. I'm not making any commissions to, uh, you know, to, to talk about this or anything like that. I've, I, this literally is just for information purposes only. But I'm intrigued by this because I'm always the one to stay ahead of the curve. I'm always thinking one step ahead, two steps ahead of the game. And so this is why I, I love that I got to meet you and I love that we got to have this conversation because this is the wave of the future. And, and just like anything else, we need to learn it. We need to understand it. We need to understand AI. We need to understand automation. 
We need to understand duplication. We need to understand uh, the wave of the future because if we don't, we get left behind. And I've seen a lot of people get left behind in so many different areas. I mean, I, you know, I trade manually, and I but I do options and I do uh, you know some manual trading, and I've made so much money. It's unbelievable. These are some things that I didn't know about, Jacob. Two, three, yeah. four, five years ago, I just wasn't educated yeah. on some of this stuff. So, yeah. a part of what I'm trying to do for the world now, I believe in mutual funds too. I think that plays a, a part in my world. I mean, obviously, uh, I recommend them to my clients, but uh, but it's a piece, right? It's just just like diversification, right? It's a piece of my puzzle that I feel like I, I have a chunk of money that just invested for the long run. I don't touch it. I don't think about it. I don't do any. But I also trade options, and I also trade individual stocks. And I also try to make sure that I'm learning other systems and strategies because this is, all of us should be thinking like this. You shouldn't just put your head down and only know one thing because then you get left behind. I, Tell me your thoughts on this, Jacob. I, I, I agree so much with you. And this is so important to, to, to say to, to the people who listen. This is like going into automation for me is not, you don't put all your money into to this basket. Right. It, right. It's like a portfolio. Right. It can be part of your full portfolio where you maybe also. I do the same thing. I to, to this day I still trade something manually, but but I don't spend 18 hours a day still on the on the charts because I don't need to. Right. I have my automated system, but I still manually trade because I'm so passionate about trading. I I can't help it, you know. But I also got long term investment in 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 index funds and you know real estate and so on. Right. And I got different things I invest in, and automation Beautiful. is one of them. And the same thing for for new people coming in with us and they ask us how, how much should I invest in this and so on. And, and, you know, it's, it's like one thing we always say, it's just don't, don't put all, all your savings into, to, to what we do. You gotta diversify, right? It, it, it doesn't have to be the only thing in your portfolio automation. It can just be part of your portfolio, right? Whatever you invest in, but just let it be part of, of that full portfolio. That's just it. so important. Again, we, we're, we're, as I said earlier, we're very keen on and, not just keen, but we are very, very, very strict with our own risk management and, you know, money management and everything. And, and you know, one of the most important thing is to preserve capital. And also just one thing, Daniel, I want to make sure uh, that the audience understands because we don't want to hype anything at all. Our systems is not made with with AI. We, okay. Another thing is we, we, we are fully into AI. We, 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 we fully, we, we love it. We think it's exciting. But we, we are not making our how do how do you use, how do you use AI in your life right now? It's uh, I just want to say our systems are based on algorithms that is gotcha. then auto gotcha. automated right. So just to to make it clear and be fully transparent with everybody so they know n no hype about our strategies, how we use automation. So of course we have used Bard, which is Google's uh, version. We have used ChatGPT. Uh, we use it to. Um, Find because we also try to make interesting um, content for people in our industry. Of course, we, you know, we we gotta find a way to, you know, to, to to try to educate people, right, and try to make them smarter about the decisions they do, right. So as you mentioned earlier, yeah, we we, we try to get some, you know, go to ChatGPT and ask, okay, what what topics are people interested in, in when it comes to investing, auto automated trading. You know all these kind of things, right? You know, give me give me some ideas for some YouTube videos or stuff like that. You know, give, give me a you know a a you know a draft for how I can say this or how I can say that, and then we use that as an outline, right? And then we adjust it based on what we think and what we think is is uh, trustworthy and 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 with our own knowledge, right? So Beautiful. we use it in, in these ways to, to to try to make it easier for us, and also most importantly, try to find something that could actually be interesting for for our audience and potential audience as well. I love it, man. All right, Jacob. Well, you know, your your company right now is on the move. It's growing. Great things are happening to you right now. A lot of really, really good movement and momentum that you've had over the last, uh, you know, few months and, and a few years. And, uh, and I'm excited for you, man. I really am proud of you. And what you're doing is, is groundbreaking, in my opinion. Uh, you are the wave of the future, man. You are the future. And I believe in you, dude. I really do. Um, and uh, and I just, I, I wish you the absolute best. And I, I want you to, to, to just kind of explain, uh, you know, give me a quick, you know, 30 seconds on your company. 
what you guys are are excited about, and uh, you know how how do we get a hold of you? How do you know some of the people that are watching and listening? They're like, hey, I want to I want to learn a little bit about this. What what is this all about? Maybe I just want to go investigate it, check it out. Websites, you know, Instagram, whatever. Give us all your your stuff so we can we can connect with you, man. Absolutely. So uh, first of all, Daniel, thank you so much for all the the kind words. I I really appreciate it, and and I want to let you know of course i'm I'm really grateful that having having met you you are one one kind of a guy you know so kind always positive i i love i love speaking with you so so thank you very much for hosting me on 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 your your show here it feels rather than a show it feels much more like you know just two people having a a good chat right so thank you very much i appreciate you uh to answer your question we are more than happy to connect with people. As I said earlier, we want to be transparent. We want to speak with people. We want to connect because we love what we do. So if people are interested, shoot us an email. Go to our website, which is, I'm sure you can link to it in, in the description of, of the podcast or video or whatnot, but it's statiratrading.com. And especially if, if if some of your guys out there, they want to, if they're not sure if automated trading is for them, we have made them a little gift. So, so they can actually go to a specific link where it's just a small quiz, right? Where they can answer some questions. It's quite fun and see where they are in the state, uh, you know, to becoming an automated trader or, or investing in it and so on. But they can go to staturatrading.com forward slash EA guide. And in there, they can download this EA guide and then they will, you know, they'll be put through this small uh, quiz and assessment and it's quite fun. So, so go in there. And second of all, if you're more into social media, Find us on Facebook, Statiro Trading. Find us on Instagram, Statiro Trading as well. And of course, we put out a lot of content on, on YouTube, also called Statiro Trading. So just get in touch. I'm happy to help people. And, and as I said earlier, I'm here to grow and I'm here to, to, um, to help people uh, you know, become better versions of themselves. So yeah, get in touch. That's awesome, man. And we'll have all the links below. I want to uh, encourage our audience, please just go say hi. Just say, what's up, Jacob? Thanks for sharing your knowledge and wisdom. I mean, this was just, this was more than just talking about trading. This was talking about mindset. This is talking about the 10,000 hour rule. This is talking about trying to be, you know, smart, uh, trying to be conservative, trying to make better choices and decisions you know, try to be as dis disciplined as we possibly can try to just, you know, become again, like you said, better versions of ourselves. And that's our job. So let's, let's, you know, say what's up, you know, so, you know, send him a little message in his inbox and say, what's up, Jacob, I saw you on wealth on the beach podcast with Daniel Alonzo. It was awesome. We appreciate you and you're awesome. You're great. So yeah, we, 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 I just want to encourage uh, all of you to, to please do that. With that said, everybody, Absolutely. continue to get after it. Continue to dream bigger than ever, but most important, do it now. We'll see you at the top.